Hi, uh, oh, I've got some great stories here. Um, hi, Gemma. Hiya. Hello. Hi there. Right then, OK. This is a fast movement. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> yeah, it is very fast. Very. OK, so, uh, so tell us the story. Um, so me and my partner, uh, Mac, we started talking on um, a dating site um, back in lockdown um, for a couple of months. And then sort of August came, the restrictions were lifted, we decided to meet up. Um, it was long distance and um, he was happy to come. I went to um, where he is first and then he was happy to sort of come this way a bit more. He just sort of stayed and stayed um, more and more, sort of didn't really go home. Um, October came, been together a couple of months and he asked me to marry him. Oh, my gosh. And? And I said yes. <laughs> and um, we decided that, you know, when you know, you know, we keep saying. So we decided to start trying for a baby and now I'm 18 weeks pregnant as well. Oh, my goodness me, congratulations. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is incredible. I mean, this is love against the odds, isn't it, Deirdre? I just said, I find it it's so exciting to, you know, I think one, is it a positive about this whole dreadful experience we've been through? Is it has actually focused our thinking about priorities. And I think that whole idea of, like, just swiping people left and right, you know, on dating sites, I think that's stopped now and people are thinking, what do I actually want? What actually matters in life? And if someone seems almost, you know, actually prepared to put the effort into a relationship. And so this is just a lovely story. We've obviously found the right, you're right for one another. Can I just check, is this a first baby for both of you? Um, I, so I've got a five-year-old already, I've got a five-year-old girl, um, but it's Max's first. But and really obviously great. you get on together. He gets on well with your five-year-old. Otherwise, you wouldn't oh, be yeah. together. So yeah, like that's a house lovely. on fire. <laughs> that's just yeah, so that's if, it, really if it wasn't funny. for lockdown, this would never have happened. Not at all. I mean, we were both in relationships before, and we kind of weren't really looking for anything. We just sort of started chatting, and it just went from there. And it's just, it was just unbelievable. We just some we look at each other sometimes and go, "What happened?" <laughs> It's oh, just great. that's lovely. Yeah, that so good. And that's sometimes the ways that you actually you're not putting the pressure on, you're not thinking, oh, I've got to find Mr. Right or Miss Right now. And then it actually works. Just do have some conversations because you know you've had all this wonderful romance, you're gonna have a baby, you know what hard work it is. Make sure you've really talked between you about how he expects his role as a dad to be so that you're on the same page when you actually have that baby. And you know, this really sort of quite hard work. Absolutely wonderful, but you know it's quite demanding of both of you, and that actually starts so you're together. Well, we wish you thrilled. the best of luck together thrilled, for your lives. Well and done with the baby as well. Congratulations! Thank right, you. Bye bye. Take care of yourself. We've got Charlotte on the, on the line now. Charlotte, this is the most extraordinary story. Um, hi, Ron. Hi. Yeah. Hi, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so my lockdown love was right across the road from me. Um, we didn't know each other before lockdown. Um, I knew his dad because his dad was the local postman, so he delivered our mail. Yeah. Um, and then I think it was the, the Thursday night clap for the NHS. I think he started checking me out a little bit across the road. And then he messaged me and it just went from there. So. <laughs> this is amazing. So how long, how long have you been together? So about eight months now. So about eight, eight months. months. So how does it work? Is it quite nerve wracking? Because, you know, you know, all the kind of dating apps, all that stuff goes out the window. This is face to face dating, but then socially distanced how does it yeah. work at the beginning um so we were we were just messaging over um like facebook at the beginning and he left me like presents on my doorstep <laughs> it was obviously the topic of conversation for the whole street because it was the only entertainment they were getting throughout lockdown um and then yeah we started going on walks together he brought me he made like picnics and took a bottle of fizz on the picnics together so it was just yeah, it was really, really lovely, definitely. Do you know what's quite interesting here, actually, uh, Deirdre, is that this is quite, it sounds like quite old-fashioned dating, doesn't it? This is like courting. Yeah, I think it's really lovely. I have to say, I have a little suspicion that he'd actually been quite conscious of Charlotte for a while. And then, you know, the <laughs> going out and the clap had actually gave him his chance. But again, I think, you know, another message of lockdown has been, you know, you only have one life. Unless you use the opportunities, take your chance and live it now. You know, you don't know what the future holds, so get on with it. And I think that's just what he did. And I love the fact he took the fizz on the walk. It's so romantic. It's lovely. It was. It was lovely. It re <laughs> really was. It's a beautiful... It's very similar to the <laughs> Italian one that we were talking Across about. Across the balconies. Across the balconies. Yeah. I know, very yeah. similar. Very oh, similar. that's you lovely, Charlotte. Thank you. Uh, Thank right, you. who have we got next? We've got Jenny on the line. 
Hello. Hi. Hey, good morning, Jenny. Good morning. Good Hello. morning. So, what's your story? <laughs> Well, um, I've moved recently. I've been on my own for many, many years. Um, so I sold up the family home and moved to a village that I didn't really know anybody, but I'd been through and I thought it looked nice. Um, went for a walk and thought I'd treat myself to a nice cup of coffee. Um, sat there and then this very nice looking man came and sort of said good morning, sat opposite me. I'm 72 years old. And then he said, I met him again the following week. And then after that, we've been together every day. Um, and after our third sort of lunch together, he looked at me and he said, do you know something? I think I love you. Oh, and I my looked God, at him. <laughs> I looked at him and I thought, I, I, I'm 72, but I didn't tell him that at first, of course, because I look much younger. <laughs> and he's my toy boy. And his birthday is on Friday. He's 69. Oh. Um, and my surprise to him on Friday is I'm going to ask him to marry me. <gasps> Oh my god, this is the best story. <laughs> Jenny, yes, uh, did I, you, I, can I, can I just ask you a question? Did you yes. give up on finding love again? Yes, yes. I had quite a upsetting divorce and I thought, um, no, I, I'm quite happy now. I'm on my own and um, I'm going to make a go of my life and, and I'm happy, I'm contented. Yeah. And this morning we looked at each other and I said, you know, if I, if I ever lost you, I wouldn't know what to do. I wouldn't. And he said, please don't talk like that. We'll always be together. And oh. I've had my vaccine. I've Yay. had my vaccine. And Excellent. I'm going I'm to live my life now. And I'm going to look forward to happy and many happy years together. Oh, this Absolutely. Is, I, I swear this is the best story we've had in such a long I know. time. I know. This is, that's such a lovely... Positive, wonderful, romantic, gorgeous story. Thank you. Yes, I, I feel different. I feel a different woman. Wow. Um, yes. I, uh, I just think, I just think it's. Will you, will you um, keep in touch with us and let us know how it goes? Yes, yes. Okay. If you perhaps, ever... you'll, perhaps you come to my wedding. Yes. Oh, <laughs> absolutely. We could, have a Zoom. we could have a Zoom wedding. Are you going to do it quite quickly? Are you going to quickly get married? Are you planning to? Well, I mean, you've got, he doesn't even know about this yet. I guess you better ask him first. <laughs> I think he'll say yes. I've I been looking at dresses do, online. Yeah. Let us know on Monday <laughs> how you get on. And, and did you? what's lovely about this story, isn't it, that, you know, no matter what's going on in your life, to kind of never give up hope because you just don't know what's around the corner. No. Actually, I think it's really think interesting too. because when Jenny decided, you know what, I'm not going to let my past rule me. I'm going to live my life. I'm going to be a happy person. And I bet you she was giving off the vibes that then attracted her new partner to her. You know, it was that... that you know, feeling good in your skin. And I think he picked yeah. up on that and now they're really good yeah. together. Can we yeah. can we talk to you again on Monday? Yes, of course. I'd love to talk to you. I watch you all the time. I think you've, you lift people's spirits in this programme. It's, um, it's something that, you know, you can look at and especially with the music you're playing now makes me feel... So much happier. I look forward to your program every day. Um, well, we're, let's uh, we'll play we'll play a song when we'll we talk to you on Monday. Chapel. So, what would you what would you like? What's your request for Monday when we talk to you again? Um, let me just think. Um, Andrea P uh, Bocelli. Oh, nice. nice. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, Something quite romantic. Because we want a complete update. We'll, we'll we'll talk to you on Monday, and we want a complete mm. update as to how the proposal went and how the weekend yeah. went. Okay. Yes, definitely. I'll even have my hair done. Oh, excellent. <laughs> excellent. Oh, what a shame we can't all meet because we do it for you. I it's know, such a, it's I such know. a shame. Um, right, okay, we'll speak Maybe to you on Monday. Day. Okay, have <laughs> okay, a lovely thank weekend. You. Thank you. Bye. And thank, thank you, thank you. Stay safe. Bye. Stay safe. And you too. Um, oh, let's do Teresa as well. Uh, hi, Teresa. Hello. Hi. Hello. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. Um, I'm 52, I'm a workaholic, and I was happy single for years and years and years. My two friends, Alison and Carolyn, decided I was never going to give time to find the man. I was too focused on my work, and they impersonated me on a dating website and found Barry, who's a farmer. I met him in November 2019, but then I was too busy. And then when my work started to slow down in January 2020, I started to see him regularly. And in the March, he asked me to move in with him because he didn't want me by, by myself in lockdown. And then on my birthday in October, he proposed. And I always said, if I found this perfect man to settle down with, I'd get a dog. 
Well, now I've got four dogs. I've got two. <laughs> I've got two beautiful stepdaughters called Lizzie and Joanne, a herd of cows, and a wonderful and loving fiance. And to be fair, it's taken a lockdown yeah. for me to slow down, yeah. to actually be with someone long enough to fall in love, and appreciate that there can be that life-work balance. Yeah, it's quite incredible, isn't it? The lessons we're learning right now. It's, oh a, it's a lovely it's story, lovely. isn't it? It is true about we're really reprioritizing and realizing what matters in life. I'm so happy for you. That's a lovely, lovely story. Enjoy the cows <laughs> and the dogs. <laughs> Thank and you man. so much for telling us. And and can I just echo um, what Jenny said? You guys are doing such a great job for all of us. You really do lift our spirits every single day. Well, thank, thank you. you. That's thank you very much indeed. Well, I tell you what, that that's uh, for everyone who just took part. That's my favourite phone in for as long as yeah, I can remember. I know. That's a beauty. That I'm not done with beauty. that one either. I want to do that a few I think more. We're gonna, yeah, we're going to do some more of them. They're just amazing stories. So good. Oh. Deirdre, it's positive, you. Deirdre. That's what we want. Yeah, we want yeah. positivity. Yeah, lovely. We do. And it also, it is about resilience as well, isn't it? Because these people have all been through some difficult times and lonely times, and they're coming out the other side of it. And that was the Captain Sir Tom's message as well, wasn't it? Resilience, Absolutely. cheerful resilience, and it will help carry us through Tomorrow as well as the vaccine. Tomorrow will be a good day. I've been vaccinated. Yeah. Whoa, <laughs> yay! yay! Oh, good to hear it. <laughs> well done, you. Thank you Thank very you. much Take uh, care. for taking part in today's Fantasy. Today. Those were just the best stories. They were, really were. They really were. Yeah, we're going to do that again, aren't we? Definitely. Yeah.